Hello, my name is Mike M0MSN and uh, welcome to my channel. Well, today we're going to look at this. This is the Retivis RA685. Little handheld, costs around 41 to uh, 49 pounds in the UK. Uh, and I'll tell you what, surprisingly good. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Okay, comes with the uh, the manual. Oh, it's quite a thick one. Uh, okay, it's in different languages. Um, that's quite nice. It's the RA685 um, from Retivis. Uh, this retails at around 40, 41 to £49, pounds, depending on where you purchase it. I've got no preconceived ideas of how good or how bad this radio is, but... Um, I've been asked to look at it, so let's do that indeed. First thoughts. Oh, it's quite a nice, um, it's quite a nice chunky aluminium die cast uh, body. Uh, I quite like that. That's really, really quite nice. Antenna, uh, it's a pretty standard one by the looks of it. Um, Uh, what else have we got here? So, battery. It's a 7.4 volt, uh, 1800 milliamp. Okay, um, so that should be a relatively long lasting battery. Construction's nice. It all feels really, really nice. Um, where else we get? Charge base. Will it hold the battery without the, uh, yep. Great stuff. Uh, USB-C connector, so I guess the, the uh, power is being supplied by USB-C then. Um, yep, okay. So there's no mains transformer or charger in the in the box. So I guess you you charge it from, um, well, from your computer or from a, a USB adapter. Okay, cool. Lanyard and belt clip, standard stuff. Okay, so what don't we need to play with at the moment? I'll just put away again. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Nice click. It does feel quite firm and wonderful in the hand. Um, so far, so good. Well, that's quite chunky. Yeah. What do you think? Welcome. Channel mode. Oh, I like that. Nice display. Really nice display. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, what the menus are like, and uh, perhaps we'll do a test. Right, so the radio is uh, capable of being charged actually directly to the radio via USB, which is, uh, if I can find it there, gosh, here we go, not so good on the, uh, you can also connect a microphone and headset via the jacks here. This is also used for programming and uh, I'll do a video on programming it because um, I've got the uh, programming lead and uh, software. So we'll do that. Got some very nice buttons, tactile buttons. They're not, you know, they're not the rubbishy, pushy jobs. They are actually quite firm and nice, very responsive. Um, you've got VFO and and memory button here, and it will change it quite happily. As you can see, uh, dual band A and B. Um, this is a uh, two meter and 70 centimeter radio only. It does not go out of band unless you do a, um, a modification, which I will show you at the end of the video. It's very simple to do. Um, 
you have a, uh, I forgot what it is now, a torch, yes, that's right, yes, torch, um, which is very strange. Um, oh, can I make it flash? I don't know, you might be able to. No, obviously not. On. Weather channels. On. On the second button, and if you keep it pressed. On. You have FM commercial. On. Which you keep pressed to turn off. On. That's the weather channels. Off. Off. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to press it for long, but if you long press the uh, the first button here, uh, it puts in a, an SOS or a, an alarm. But we've got a light, as you can see. Very nice torch, actually. Um, there we go. And I think in channel mode, it uh, flashes. Let me just try. Channel mode. I might be wrong. No, it just turns on and off. Welcome. Well, let's have a look at the menu Frequency system. Mode. Okay, I don't know if we can get this bit better. Menu. So on the menu, we have, what do we have? We have uh, squelch, step, power, power save, fox, bandwidth, light. Okay, so all the usual suspects, really. Um, I wonder how difficult it is to, uh, to program. Have a quick look. It's looking relatively straightforward. Very similar um, interface to um, the Bofangs. Not quite the same, but very similar. Okay, yeah, this is a relatively straightforward. Um, okay, so let's see how many there is. 38, okay, 38, right. Okay, let's exit this uh, and uh, I think you would transmit up for 136. No, okay, that's an interesting thing. Channel mode, frequency mode. Okay, let's set a frequency uh, 145. One, oh, it's telling me. <laughs> Seven, two, five. That's my local repeater. Um, and what we'll do is uh, we'll put that into memory six, let's say, for instance. Um, so let's see if we can. Um, set it up for um, repeater mode. How quick and easy will this be? Menu. We don't need squelch. We'll probably need step. Uh, let's actually do that while we're here. Um, we need that. At, uh, that will do. Confirm. Okay. Next. Squelch. Reset language. Don't need a Roger bleed. Don't get that. Um, memory. These are all the keys on the side of the uh, offset. Yes, we need to set an offset. Offset frequency. There'll uh, be 600 kilohertz. Zero, zero, six. Zero, zero. Confirm. Excellent. Carry on down. Ah, that would be the offset direction. So. I guess that will be minus because it's a two meter one we're doing. Confirm. Okay. And uh, carry on down through the menus. Next, we're looking for the CTSS tone. Uh, receive tone, CTSS tone on transmit. CTSS. Yep. And we need that for my repeater. One. 118.4, I think it is. And 118.8, I was close. Confirm. Okay, so let's exit that. Oh no, we don't want to exit it. Um, let's, well, it's exited it by the south. So let's see if it works. Yep, perfect. So we'll just uh, wait for that to time out. Brilliant stuff. Let's go back into the menu, menu and let's put that into channel, um, I don't know, number six or 11 or something. It doesn't make a difference, does it? Um, 
carry on down or was it up? I don't know what I think it might have been up. So we'll put it into channel. Save to channel, was it something like that? Let's have a look. Memory, there we go. Memory. Memory channel. Put it at number six. That's what I said I'd do. Transmitting memory. And there we go. So if we go into um, channel mode. Channel mode. Number six. Oh, that's very easy to do. Very, very easy to do. Right, so let's have a look at uh, what it's like to uh, simplex, what it sounds like, and uh, let's have a go through the repeater. Okay, what I've got set up is I have the YAC handheld uh, Nextra microphone indoors, uh, and I have the Retivis um, in my hand, and I'm going to transmit to the YASU to see what the audio quality of the microphone is like. Right, let's go for it. M0 MSN, M0 MSN, just testing audio quality, a one, two, three, three, four, five, M0 MSN testing. Let's do the same in reverse. We'll transmit to this using the, um, the, the Yesu handheld, uh, and we'll see what the audio quality of this little microphone is. Bear with. The speaker even. So I'm going to transmit to the Retivis using the, the Yesu. Let's have a quick listen. M0 MSN, testing 123123, M0 MSN. Five point four watts for medium power. Three point five watts on the lower power setting is one watt. Five. One four five six zero. Okay, and oh, it's clean. Very very clean. There's no. Uh, Beautiful. So there's no harmonics or sporadic coming off this radio. They've done a really nice job. Okay. Menu. Squelch. So if you wanted to use this radio on PMR, which is uh, 446 um, megahertz, uh, you can't because it won't transmit. Okay. However, if you turn it off, hold down the PTT and the um, VFO memory button, then turn it back on, it goes into Welcome. factory mode. Okay. Mode. And now it is free to work on all bands from 136 through to um, 400 and uh, I think it's 500 actually. It's over. Not quite sure, but it will work on PMR now. So if we put in there, for instance, uh, four, 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 six, six. Um, or zero, 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 zero. Um, six, I think it is, six. isn't it? Two, five, there you go. So that's one of the PMR bands. Um, you see, it transmits happily. Um, anyway, I wouldn't suggest you do that because it's a... Uh, this is out of uh, type approved, but it shows that you can actually use it um, for PMR. Very useful indeed, especially for uh, countries that don't have the restriction of the half a watt. You know, all in all, this is actually an incredibly good value for money little radio. I'm actually very impressed with it. Very impressed indeed.